Howdy, and welcome to the Feed Bandit Podcast, where we talk all things hunting and introduce you to the most innovative hunting gear and services. Here are your hosts, Jimmy Byrne and Richard Kinchlow. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Feed Bandit Podcast. Jimmy and Richard here with you, as always. And uh, how you doing, Richard? We've uh, getting towards the end, or whenever this actually comes out, it's the end of turkey uh. season. Where we hunt, I know. You know, down here, and I uh, know. So that's kind of sad. But uh, what's going on with you? Yeah, you know, it, it is very sad. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you, we are as my as my high school football coach would say at 5 a.m. when he pounded on my dorm at the quote unquote voluntary football camp in July. Dun dun dun! One day closer. Uh, which <laughs> let me tell you, I mean, if I ever wanted to throw myself out of the window, that was it. I'm like, I can't can't do this anymore. No, nah, well, man, we're, I'm good. One day closer to, you know, I guess your favorite is belt that? season, right? Just oh, right. I, 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 seriously, I, I can't even wait. And, uh, and so, yeah, we got some, uh, you know, the Rancho Banditos looking good. Lots of rain, lots of forage, uh, fawns. Actually, we think we saw a fawn last weekend. So uh, still lots of hogs and lots to be killed, lots to be caught. So um, besides the whole uh, Contra Corona crap, it's... Uh, Life's pretty good, man. All right. Well, we hope, uh, you know, a lot of people listening uh, kind of have that similar problem. Um, luckily enough, uh, today on the podcast, we have a guy that I think can help them out, especially with some of their gear needs. He's a, we've talked to him in the past, but uh, we wanted to talk to him again and get an update on uh, what's going on. So joining us today is Adam Whitehead, owner of Sportsman's Box. Hey, Adam. Welcome to the Feed Bandit hey. Podcast again. <laughs> Hey guys, glad glad to be back and uh, looking forward to, to catching up with you guys in your audience. Awesome, awesome. Well, you know, Richard uh, just kind of talked about what was going on uh, at down at his ranch and whatnot. Uh, tell us about how your uh, season went. Did you get to get out there and get any turkey, or how was your deer season? How did it go? Yeah, um, deer season was good. I had a couple good encounters with um, a couple actually stellar stellar bucks. Uh, I had a good friend of mine. Um, who's the uh, owner of Chama Chairs. Um, he invited me out for a hunt and for a weekend and whatnot and got to go hunt here close to, it was close to Dallas, Texas. But um, it was one of those hunts, and I'll be honest, is, is if I could go back, I might would have pulled my bow back. But it was kind of <laughs> that, that first night, and mm -hmm. uh, I was on a new property. And I remember it like it was yesterday. It, sorry, it was the first morning, first morning hunt. I was on a new property for me. Um, and I'm the, I'm the type that I grew up kind of, uh, planting the food plot, hanging the deer stands myself and doing all that. And so that's, that, that's always been normal to me. And if I hadn't kind of, personally, if I didn't put in the kind of a little bit of sweat equity, then I feel a little bit reluctant to necessarily shoot a trophy deer. Right. And that morning, he, uh, a couple of does came out and all of a sudden they got spooky. And, um, it was, I was hunting tall grass and this giant just lifts his head. <laughs> and you want to talk about a heartbeat that was, uh, that was through the roof and it was good. but you know just as i sit here and tell the story to be honest i, I relive that moment and it's just it's just as good as you know being able to relive that moment is part of why we hunt right it's not necessarily oh, always yeah. about the kill but just oh, me yeah. being out there with a buddy um getting in the woods and having that experience with that trophy white tail i mean it was an absolutely incredible experience. So that sums up my, my deer hunting season. My duck hunting season was all right. Went out to Arkansas a couple of times, and we had a few good hunts. And, oh. But I did not not get a chance to turkey hunt. The uh, you know, corona kind of kept me away um, from kind of yep. being able to touch yep. base with some of my friends. And, you know, I wanted to yep. respect them and their families. Yep. Sure. Yeah, I, I feel yeah. your pain about the, the turkey. I Turkey's my favorite, and I haven't been, had a chance to get out there. I won't be able to get out there this year because of all that. Uh, also had a... A new daughter two months ago too so that kind of slowed me down on getting out of the, uh, getting away so oh thank you thank you <laughs> so um, what's her name uh poppy poppy <laughs> yep Very yep cool. thank you yeah so but i'll get i'll get back out there next year as i hope you will yeah. you will as well <laughs> but uh that's right let's uh, let's dive into uh you know sportsman's box and let's like uh, you know remind people about uh what you're what you're all about over there and what uh, you offer them um if you don't mind, give us a quick kind of overview of uh, what it's all about. Yeah, we've, um, how long has it been, guys? Uh, so about a year. About a year. About a year, yeah. okay. Okay, so um, 
since we've I've been on this podcast, uh, we've we've gone from um, two two employees, one part time to we we nearly have about eight eight full time employees. You know, working uh-huh. working where we we've developed a mission that um, your success in the field and stream is our obsession. Nice. Um, wow. and, I, and I take that to, to we have literally as a team started to take that uh, to heart every morning we come in we talk about it and uh, how do we help um, hunters and anglers that are members with us become more successful in the field and stream um, and, and we think that we can we can help in a number of ways we know that factually um, maybe not factually but they've done plenty of studies on the, the subject, and maybe you guys have heard of it, but are you familiar with the out of mind, out of sight type of feel? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. So that's been proven. If you have something that kind of triggers a memory, triggers something, you're more likely going to go out and do it or, like, put some attention to it. And so with our monthly and quarterly uh, boxes, we believe that we can um, assist in that. And not only are we putting that uh, trigger in front of the, the hunter and anglers, um, you know, in front of sent to them but we're we're stuffing it full of quality gear we've gotten in, you know with the team now we are a lot more specific to somebody's profile uh, we send out who knows how many different variations of a box every month it's not just one or two boxes going out anymore it's it's a a lot of variations based on um the, the what our members tell us they're interested in uh, like i said we've also added a quarterly option so if you're the type of person that Ah, oh, let's let's have some fun with it, right? Um, get some gear, but I don't want to be, you know, I don't want it all, right? Um, mm-hmm. Then you have the option to just get it quarterly, um, and so we've had some members members on that. Okay, hey, talk about uh, talk about that. Uh, you just mentioned how uh, members can now uh, go in there and really kind of, I guess, customize or let you know if the, if their interests and whatnot. Is it is it a, is it as simple as I go and I say, well, uh, deer hunting is my favorite, and then you guys kind of focus all on deer hunting or do you are they able to go in there and kind of say hey i enjoy these different things and whatnot like so kind of walk us through what that means and and uh how that kind of customizes their box for sure for sure i mean if if you go on the get sportsmansbox.com today and you start you know filling out you know what type of box you want how often do you want it and what plan you want to do the next thing you're going to see uh, uh, some questions the first one is what are you interested in hunting or fishing and it, it's not like, um, for us, it's not necessarily just big game. It's whitetail, elk, mule, uh, pronghorn. Then it goes to waterfowl, uh, you know, small game, predator, hog, and, you know, coyotes, um, freshwater fishing, saltwater fishing, fly fishing, ice fishing. Um, so we, we really want to uh, get to know our members. And, and the more we get to know them, the better we can serve them. And what we're finding is, is when we get feedback we're just improving the boxes for them mm-hmm. and so on top of that on top of not just the species interest i mean we're you hunt with a shotgun do you hunt with a rifle a bow compound bow or you hunt with a trad bow um then uh see what do you hunt with a dog upland bird waterfowl bird uh, bird dog see what else how long you've been hunting um you know how can we uh you've been hunting longer maybe we can uh, kind of get get that month's box a uh, little bit more advanced type of gear or are you the beginner hunter where you kind of need some of the basics um right that's genius just, that's... I'll, I'll <laughs> that. no that's great how you get into that level of detail because I, I mean being able you know if, if i'm in there you know and i and i say you know i'm i i love turkey hunting and deer hunting and you know for you to be able to let's say send me pieces specific to that then i mean that's that's exactly why I'd want to subscribe, you know, because that's that's what I'd be expecting. And I like the idea of how you do what you just said about uh, beginner hunting. If someone's a beginner versus an experienced one, uh, we talk a lot about on the podcast a uh, wide range of things you know hunters do and whatnot. But we also tend to rehash and re uh, and rediscuss or discuss and kind of help people sharpen their swords on with uh, you know the the basics, right? The foundational stuff. Right. Because if you don't have that, then it's hard to build or to, you know, be successful on top of that. So, yeah, I mean, oh, for, sure. for sure, for the beginners, if you can customize with the basic stuff that they need, uh, the basic stuff that the, the, they can put in their gear bag. Like we have a series about in your, in, inside our gear bags where we talk about, you know, what are the basic things that people should have when they're walking out there? I mean, if you can help them out with that, then, I mean, that's 
sets them up for success. I don't know. You agree with that, Richard? Uh, no, I, I absolutely agree. You know, there, there's a lot of things out there that, you know, that you, you, don't, you don't think about until you've really experienced in the right. field. And then sometimes if you experience out there in the field, you may have lost a, uh, you may have lost an animal, you know, uh, because of it. And, and so, yeah, that, that I'll tell you, and I'll, I'll, I'll jump in on that point. You know, I, I have ever since I, I, I've been subscribing the sportsman's box, uh, long before we did, uh, we did the original podcast and, and I'll tell you, I, I still, to this day, I, I pulled up, I take pictures of every box that I've got and, and I'm looking at the past three and, and in the past three, there has been at least two things that, uh, that I probably wouldn't have gone out and bought by myself, uh, but that I've absolutely put to, to, to great use. Uh, one of which is this, um, um, in, in the last box we got, I got some Walker's game ear earplugs, but, but what they are, and I'll, I'll tell you, and you, Jimmy, you'd probably love this. I, I know you would actually, uh, they're, uh, they're almost like a little plastic necklace that wraps around your neck and then they're retractable earplugs. So you can pull them out, squish them and put them in your ear. And so when we were, we were, I was closing the gate with my dad the other night and we were out, we brought a 22 with us and uh, sure enough, we came up with a couple of skunks and all I did was he held the gun. I reached and I pulled my plugs and put them in and I, and I literally <laughs> said, you know what? See, that's the sportsman's box right there. If I hadn't have taken the sportsman's box, I would not have had this. Yeah. Um, awesome. And so that's just, <laughs> that's one example. Uh something that I got in the February box uh, that I absolutely have used the hell out of uh, and, and will continue to use and will probably reorder because I like them so much are these turkey head targets. Um, I actually spent last year, I spent some time trying to find some dedicated turkey head targets and I believe it or not, I struggled to find them. Uh, and then of course, you know, Adam and his company, Sportsman's Box, sends them to me. And uh, that, Jimmy, that's what I, I tested uh, Abby's Forte oh, on. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it was just awesome. Just awesome. And they're these little paper things. And uh, I probably used them 10 or 15 times, just testing out by the various guns at various distances. So, again, you know, here it is, the, the sportsman's box to save the day. So um, I still love it, man. It's awesome. And I'll, I'll tell you, especially in the, this past couple of months where we're really just things kind of blow uh, that is definitely a uh, uh, kind of something fun to see in the uh, in the mail, you know. Um, simple. I even said it in the in the box card um, that we that we sent out with those earplugs uh, for people that have guns. Again, so a uh, quick note on that is the people that only bow hunt and told us that they only have a bow, they didn't get the retractable earplugs because they they right. said they don't have a gun, so they're not going to need them. And we replaced that right. item with a bow specific item. Um, right. but I, I'm the type that I grew up in, uh, I would just put, put in, you know, uh, go get some toilet paper or something, get some paper towels, ball it up, put it in my ear. And, uh, these things came yeah. across my desk. They came across my desk and I tried them out, um, one time and I was like, holy smokes. Like it, it's yeah. one of those, that, that is like the definition of one of the things I probably wouldn't just pick up off the shelf, but man, am I glad I have them yeah. out when I go shooting. Like, uh, that, that, you're spot on, Adam. I've I've actually looked at them, and I've actually looked at them online because again I was like, okay, I'm in the market for yet another pair of earplugs, and I'm thinking to myself, all right, what am I going to buy this time? You know, I'm like, dude, it's the same crap over and over again, and I don't want to yeah. wear the muffs, you know, because here in Texas, as as you know, as I know it is there in the Carolinas from you're from, it gets hotter than hell in the summer, and in the fall it can be just as hot. Yeah. So right. having something like that, man, sure is uh, sure is nice. How do you guys find all this great stuff to put in these boxes? Like, do they come to you, or do you do you guys just I mean, spend a bunch of time just researching and looking what's out there? Or? Yep. So about the the usually except for this year, I, I didn't get to go uh, to as many shows, but I'll spend the first quarter, first three months of every year, just kind of traveling around the trade shows, walking the trade show floors. Um, you know, talking to vendors, talking with the brands that we currently work with, find out, you know, what, what products are they coming out with, um, see if we can work with them on that at the same time. Hey, what products did you see that, that did well? Um, how do we get that into our members' hands? And it's just a combination of things. Um, so, yeah, we, ha we have myself and, um, and a couple other folks now just kind of looking around. And on top of that, I ask folks, 
kind of across the country sometimes. Hey, I'm looking uh, looking at this item, and I know it might not be relevant for your side of the country. Do you think it is? And um, sometimes they'll say no, and I say, well, well, let's go shopping. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So here we go, go going shopping to see if we can uh, get a get a more specific item for those guys say on the west coast where you know we're here in Texas and uh, or the the northeast or something like that and we try we try to to hone in on where you are so that we can we can get better make sure that you're discovering being reminded of gear that you're going to use um, and, and it's in, and it's in season or close to in season so mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Well, that's uh, I mean, that's another great reason to 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 get your subscription. I mean, like a lot of what what we say on the on the podcast on our website is we we want to introduce our followers, you know, to cool, innovative, you know, gear out there and whatnot. And that's exactly what you're yep. doing. So it's a way the for everyone yep. listening to uh, you know get something in actually in the mail to, <laughs> to these these innovative products and whatnot that uh, you're out there, uh, you know burning the pavement finding for them. So that's really cool. Hey, hold on one quick moment. Hey folks, have you ever wished that there was an easier way to find the hunting feed, supplies, and services you need when and where you need them? If so, check out our hunter search at feedbandit.com where you can see what hunting suppliers are in your area or are on the way to your land. Don't waste any more precious time searching Google or calling around for feed, blinds, feeders, or even outfitters. Just use our targeted search for hunters the Feed Bandit Hunter Search over at feedbandit.com. We'll find your feed. The prices for the subscriptions are amazing, actually. I mean, I, you know, looking on the on the website, uh, uh, the value that you put like within each box for what people are paying is uh, is, is just awesome. I mean, uh, can you talk about um, the different kind of op subscription options that people uh, can go with? Yeah, for sure. Um, so. You know, for the one would be a starter box. Um, it's uh, be as low as twenty five bucks a month. Um, that's going to have anywhere from, uh, I believe, it's forty to fifty dollars worth of gear. Sometimes we get get above that. I believe uh, for for our active members this month, we'll be above that. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, just a good start. You know, like I said, it goes back to out of, out of mind, out of sight. How do you think about it more? Not that you know any of us necessarily might not need that reminder, but you get this cool piece of gear. Um, now you, you you kind of want to go out and mm -hmm. try it out. So we're just get, hoping to get people outdoors more, honing in on their skills, honing in on their craft. And by getting new gear, what do we? What, most of us are gear junkies, right? Oh, sweet! Let's just try it out. Right, right? now I'm in the outdoors. <laughs> oh, Beautiful, yeah. mission accomplished for us. And so that's for the kind of maybe you're on a little bit more of a budget type deal, and it's just, you know 25 bucks a month, or you can even do that one quarterly. But you just want to kind of get something and, and have some fun with it. So we, I would encourage you know, those to check that out. And then we have our original, which is kind of the box that we launched launched the company on five years ago. And that one, uh, anywhere from I believe it's forty two bucks up uh, to fifty bucks a month, depending on how many months you buy, um, or you know want to give it a try. And, and that box, is, we're gonna get at least seventy dollars MSRP value, and we do work off MSRP values. Okay. And, and side note for the listeners and anybody else, we understand that you know you could go and find any product, any brand, any anything these days for cheaper. But we you know we do represent our prices off MSRP. Okay. Um, so, so, but but again, I think sometimes that misses out on the value of like, hey, we're going out and searching this product for you. So you oh, for sure. I mean, for someone uh, to go out and try to do all this on their own, I mean that. <laughs> Why bother? I yeah. mean, you're you're doing it all for them right here for a great value. No question about it. Yeah. yeah so, so that, like I said, that original forty six bucks a month, or you can do that quarterly as well. And uh, we're gonna get sixty five, usually seventy. It, it's very rare that we we go under seventy uh, for that for the MSRP value of that gear. And then um, we have our Denali uh, members, and they pay anywhere from eighty three bucks a month up to a hundred. Again, depending on how many months you want to commit to or look at, and um, that box goes anywhere from 140 bucks in retail value up to 180. And we've had a couple boxes that cross the 200, 200 dollar mark. So it's like, well, we're not going to stop it at 180 if we can do it. So, what's up? Yeah. Let's, let's see everybody. Wow. 
Wow, well, that is, that is fantastic. I, I can't remember what level box that that I am on, but I, I'll, I'll tell you again. It's kind of a, a living testimony for for those who are who are interested. Um, you know, what one thing I found is again some of the stuff in there is stuff that you would see, but maybe you just wouldn't buy because it's a a certain price point or whatnot. And the, those earplugs that I was talking about, they were kind of at a price point where I said to myself, Ugh. God, you know, they sure be cool, but you know, is that really what I want to do? Is it really, you know? And so, you know, I, I didn't pull the trigger. Well, then here they come. Uh, you know, something else I, I like about the box is sometimes you get you get stuff that you may already have, but it's different. You know, for example, I uh, I got I guess it was the month it was the March box, so right before turkey season, which again I also like the fact that you get things from the sportsman's box that are pertinent to the season that you're in. You know, I mean, you 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 know, it, it, you wouldn't want to get maybe a turkey call in in July, you know, because it's going to be a while before you can play with it. But I, you know, in my March box, I think I ended up getting a a turkey call, and I pulled it out of the package and I started to play with it, you know, because the one that I've got is a you know, it's a Quaker boy from, I mean, God, it's probably it's probably twenty year old, twenty years old now. Now I really like it, and it makes a really sweet noise, but you know. If it's always important to have a backup, especially with the slate calls, everybody loses them. Uh, but but also uh, my year. little girl <laughs> shot her first turkey. She's playing with it. You talk about having multiple um, turkey calls. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had this, but sometimes I'll carry three or four just because I have literally had hit them with everything I got with my my two primary calls. Screech on it, a little different sound, and I'm telling you, all of a sudden he'll just light up. Nope. Oh, oh yeah. I've had that oh, happen oh, a couple yeah. of times. I, I have no shortage of calls. <laughs> yeah, I lost no, my. You're, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're, yeah. I, I lost my. I lost my slate. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy's you know. pro with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, uh, can you tell us about? Um, talk to us about the uh, uh, insider savings that you talk about on the website. Uh, I guess you have an oh. insider shop. Yeah, that's uh, that's here to launch in just a couple weeks. Okay. Right here, perfect timing. But um, we're partnering up with our brands and uh, uh, top brands of all over the industry. We're even. I've got somebody on the East Coast searching, somebody on the West Coast searching for even these small brands that are just kind of in the in the you know uh, small town hardware stores that just have a little setup. And we're putting these brands and their products on on an insider shop. And not only that. Is, is a place for members only to shop. Um, there's gonna be discounts that you can't get elsewhere on some of these products, um, and it, it's it's literally bringing some of those products that we're not able to put in the box and saying, "Hey, um, welcome to your insider savings," where you can now uh, literally get to the point where you're saving money by being a member and discovering gear, and that, mm -hmm. that's kind of our goal with that. Oh, awesome! Awesome. That's great. And so, would someone be be able to uh, have access to that uh, at a certain membership level, or is it any level, or how how do they get access to that? Yeah, that that's all members, all okay. active members. Um, so anybody that cancels, they they would they lose their access to it. Um, hmm. But if you're an active member with us, then you, you do get access to that store. Oh, cool! And you said it's about to launch. Yes, that that will launch here in in a couple of weeks. We have a couple of folks working on that hard, um, and we expect to have close to two thousand products on it at launch. Wow, wow. that's great! Two thousand, yeah, uh, very cool. A lot of brands, a lot of brands. All right, well, and since I'm excited a... to be able to connect connect with our members, because we know that right. our members are some of the you know some of the ones that that love to get out there and um, very active in the outdoors, and, and you know we hope to play a part in keeping them out there, in the outdoors as, as we've talked about because. That's where we we get our most joy, um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so our, our brands are excited about it. They can't wait to you know be able to connect with them on this platform. So I think both parties are excited. Wow. Now, Adam, are are, are y'all going to send out an email to everybody when that goes live? Yes, we will literally be sending out invitation links. So oh, it won't, it'll be like an a, literally an invitation link that says, "Hey, here's your Sportsman's Box Insider Shop. Go create your." your account excellent oh so. very cool very cool um then i guess lastly uh can you talk about um 
some of the giveaways and uh, and hunts and entries to win the things like that like how do, how do y'all go about doing that is that a uh a, a you know regular thing or how does that work that's more of a, a sporadic thing for us okay uh, we've been focused on that member shop as a reason uh-huh. you know um we see a lot of value and we've got a lot of feedback from um our current members to say yeah i'd, I'd love to be able to to shop and save uh save on gear that i'd buy anyways on top of that, you know, I didn't mention this, is that it's free shipping if you're an active member to shop on that store. So we, oh. whether you buy it, whether it's the brand that like has to go to it, we say, hey, brand, uh, whatever brand that is, like we'll cover their shipping, just give them the product, give them, give them the discount, get them outdoors, mm-hmm. um, get them more successful. Uh, wow. Okay. And, but so on the giveaways, what that looks like is we do plan to, to offer more. Um, just have some fun with it, you know. Uh, we've got, we're in talks with a few folks to where we'll be offering, uh, I guess it would be access to be able to hunt with some higher influential people that you might not be able to hunt with outside of a sportsman's box member. Okay. Wow, very, very cool. Very cool. That we're sitting together. Yeah. It's, yeah. Can't say much on that. And yeah. Time. We keep that one close to the hip, but uh, we're looking forward to, to launching some of those. Well, folks need to uh, sign up and uh, and wait to hear about it, right? <laughs> our, yeah, our members will be the first to hear. Yeah. All right. Well, very cool. Yeah, Jimmy, until you get your membership, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Why did you have to – you had to announce that out here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. It's a, I, I'll, I'm going to get one, no question about it. But I was actually hoping – I had mentioned it to my wife. Uh, see if she hears this again. I don't know if she will. Oh, yes. I was like, you know. Father's Day. Yeah, exactly. Father's Day. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. I will say that because uh, Father's Day actually comes before my birthday this year. So that way I'll get that for Father's Day and, and you know maybe something else after that. So I, I get double whammy there. So. There you go. <laughs> All right, Richard, you got anything else? Uh, you know, you know, I, I, I don't. I'll, other than again, I, I think it's great. I, I've just, I've really enjoyed my membership. It's something that, that uh, you know, we, we don't think about every month. That you know, it, it hits the, it hits the card, and it gets, to, it gets to me, and it's, it's cool. We really like it. You know, unlike that, unlike that gym membership that you know you that you <laughs> sign up for and that you never mm-hmm. use. I mean, 20, 24 hour, I twenty four hour fitness. I mean, like three years. I mean, I was just too embarrassed to quit, you know. So, <laughs> Sportsman's Box, definitely not that way. And I, I love it, man. So, keep it up. Yeah, you, that's a great point. Any hunters out there that are paying for a gym membership that they're not using, yeah. just cancel that and go over here and make use of Big that time. money. You know I mean? What the heck? Big time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's funny. what you, you, you made me think of something that I've never thought about before. But a gym membership, they're, uh, you know, they want to get you activated. And they hope you, you like literally forget about it. We you know, we get you activated. We're like, hey, here's some gear. And right. they're like, here, we'll charge your card and we hope you don't come in. Because that's I, I believe how they actually make their money is a lot of members that don't use their equipment so it doesn't break. Oh, absolutely. Nowhere in like, hey. Right. <laughs> well, all right, Adam. D- uh thank you. Thanks again for coming on. Anything else uh, you wanted to let our listeners know about or, or anything before? Um no, nothing specifically. I, I'd encourage, encourage any of your listeners, if you've given us a try in the past, um, when we were a, a smaller team and, and running lean, uh, we might not, you know, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, we might not have served you up to your standards. But we, we do have a, a much larger uh, a team in place today that is, um, you know, I, I'd be shocked if, if a customer service email comes in and if you give us at least a business day, you'll, you'll hear by the end of the business day. Um, you know, we get daily orders coming in. They're going out the door very quickly. Um, and so I, I just almost ask and say, hey, if you've given us a shot in the past, give us a sh- another shot. Um, we, we've really improved since we first started. We are sending out, you know, a lot more boxes these days, which allows us to get more specific. Um, you know, with all that, go, go check us out. I know that you guys have a link, so. Mm-hmm. Go go take advantage of their discount. You get try a box. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think everyone I can. I think everyone can hear. Obviously, you know the way you talk about it and the sincerity in your voice and all the investments you've made into the platform over the year to really yep. ho- help people hone in on their interests and whatnot. That uh, I mean, it's a no brainer. 
I think, right now. Uh, for I agree. People to come back one, but also for the new folks out there that are listening to try it out. Try out the Sportsman's Box. And uh, you, uh, you've you heard Richard talk about it. I'm definitely going to get a subscription. Go from there. I, I'm actually I'm looking forward to actually looking into that the, uh, Insider Store as well. Uh, that's really cool. Um, you know, those are the things we're obsessed with over here is too, to see stuff, to see the kind of stuff that, uh, you know, you, that you offer, you know, just, uh, the cool gear, you know, like you said, we're all kind of gear junkies, right? So it's, <laughs> it's, I just spend time just searching, you know, just seeing what's out there. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, well, uh, Adam, thanks again for coming on the podcast. Um, everyone out there, uh, check out Sportsman's Box, uh, you, their website, uh, sportsmansbox.com. Correct or or get sportsmansbox.com. I guess they either get to one, it either way. Either one, you're okay. fine. Good deal, good deal. And uh, yeah, definitely go check it out. Check them out. There is a discount uh, that folks listening can uh, use if they're when they go through and they set up their profile. Let them know the kind of hunt, uh, the kind of hunting you like and whatnot. At the end, if you use the code Feed Bandit, all one word, uh, you'll get thirty uh, percent off your subscription for the first three months. So, I mean, that, that basically makes it uh, no excuse, right, <laughs> to, to, to go and try and see what, uh, see what comes, see what comes in your, in your box, your discovery box. Uh, uh, like they say, it's uh, Christmas in every delivery, right? So yep. uh, that especially will help you get through the, the hot summer months, you know, and all that. So, <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, Adam, thanks uh, so much for coming on the podcast. For sure. I've, I've enjoyed this and enjoyed getting to catch up with you guys and what all we got going on. And- and it, as we were talking about before the show, it's exciting to hear what you guys are doing to, to help hunters, um, you know, in the feed bandit side of things. So congratulations on all you guys are doing as well. Looking forward to seeing that grow. All right, folks, that was Adam Whitehead, owner of Sportsman's Box. So it was awesome to have him back on the show to hear what's going on over in their neck of the woods. And it sounds like they're doing a lot of cool stuff over there, um, especially, oh, yeah. yeah, especially the giving folks the ability to really narrow narrow in on you know what their interests are so that right. they'll get exactly the things that, that they want you know that's right. pretty cool yeah no it, it really is and and you know for for somebody like i mean you have a lot of guys who are jack of all trades you know who who bow hunt and you know spear fish and all that kind of stuff but then yeah you got a lot of guys who you know who are kind of well you know like me i i rifle hunt and probably will never bow hunt so yeah there there, there might be some bow hunting stuff that i might be interested in but uh, you know, truthfully, a lot, but I probably will not be interested in, you know, but, you know, the, the one thing that, that I will say is that, you know, it, it is impossible for them to, you know, for every single box to 1000% meet your needs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, but I will tell you this, I've been taking the box now for a couple of years. I mean, every single thing that's in the sportsman's box, I can do something with, I either use it, you know, for, for myself or I give it to a buddy. Or mm-hmm. more importantly, something that I really enjoy doing, I'll give it to I'll give it to a kid. Yeah. You know, I mean, when I was a kid, God, I was obsessed uh, with hunting gear. I mean, obsessed. And of course, it wasn't as available as it is now. Uh, but you know, we've got several kids that hunt, as you know them, Jimmy, obviously, the hunt Rancho Bandito, and they absolutely eat it up. You know, they they mm-hmm. absolutely love it. They have all this gear, and it's kind of fun to to, to see them using it. And I'll be like staring. I'm going, God, why is my 40 year old brain processing to see where I saw that hat last? I'm like, Oh dude, that's the hat I gave Billy yeah. Bob or right. Kelly or Toby or yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah it's fun though. It's good. Well, it's you, good yeah. Shoot, you've given me a couple of things that uh, yeah, I, think, I think you already had. And, uh, um, I've used them even myself. So it's like almost a, uh, secondary use. Cause you know, oh, yeah. from the sports I'm a, so I've been a benefactor. So oh, I, sure. I'm going to get my own though now. And you know, when I do my profile, it'll be it'll be kind of neat for us to compare. You know, what, we, what each of us oh. get because I, you know, my profile will be a little different because I probably yes. won't be like I won't be like uh, you know, top like my favorites are not going to be dove and whatever or duck. You know, yeah, exactly. I'll bring more deer and turkey, right. you know, or yes. something. And I'll get yeah, like, you know, I'll get into more weeds over there probably. So. Right. We'll be able to, you know, compare. That'd be kind of cool. That will be very cool. Yeah, Jimmy and I have pretty much the exact same likes and everything, except for a few major things. Yeah, uh, but one of the, the biggest way, biggest thing we disagree is, of course, I love Miracle Whip. He hates it. So. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. 
Yeah, it's I mean, so I don't funny. know how you eat that stuff. Oh, God. And I'll tell you what. Room temperature miracle whip. Uh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny because our, our, our group of friends is right down the middle. We've got a big contingency of miracle whip. <laughs> And a big and and then and and there's nowhere in between. Some guys aren't like, well, you know, I could use no. Uh oh, yeah, it's either you love it or you either love Miracle Whip or hate it or you love Mayo or hate it. So, I mean, <sighs> if it's Miracle Whip or dry, I'll take dry any day. Oh, that that's um. Yeah, I, so I was thinking about you the other day, and I should take a, a picture. We 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 ran out of Miracle Whip. I was making me a sandwich. And uh, we ran out. I was like, oh, no. I was like, oh, but the good thing about opening up new Miracle Whip is licking the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I peeled it back and said, oh, you know, like, so nah, nah. Oh, God, yeah. it was great. Well, yeah. I, how about we uh, solicit our listeners to get their opinion on the Miracle Whip versus uh, yeah. non Miracle Whip, anything but Miracle Whip. Yeah. Which, clearly, I'm a regular mayo, mayo guy instead of Miracle Whip. But, uh, yeah. Oh geez! Yeah, anyone out there? What is your opinion? <laughs> Let us yep. know. How do you oh, feedbandit.com or leave us a voicemail? You know, yep. at uh, feedbanditpodcast.com. Yes. Here's Miracle Whip or not? Uh, I, I would be curious to see if if the feedback comes in fifty fifty as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. We're going to be heavy on the Miracle Whip side. I got, got a feeling. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's that many communists out there, but we'll have to find uh, out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that, folks? He called you Russians <laughs> or, or Nicaraguans or who you know. Maybe. Well, Chicom now, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Russians, well. they're capitalists now. Yeah, that's very true. Well, more or less. Good for <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. That's neither here nor there, I guess. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that was a, that was a fun one. I um, know. It is. It's fun to catch up with Adam, and uh, you know we'll definitely probably have him back again, uh, you know, in the future, and talk about what's new over there at uh, Sportsman's Box. So, folks, uh, once again, um, you know, head on over to sportsmansbox.com, and when you sign up, don't forget to use the code FeedBandit, but all one word, FeedBandit, one word, and be sure to use all caps, FeedBandit, one word, all caps. Uh, that'll get you 30% off your subscription for the first three months. So uh, no excuse. Head on over there and get you one. Um, you got anything else before we sign off here? Absolutely, I do. We always say it, but and we've been saying it for the, for the past two or three months. But listen, I know that the economy is opening back up. But remember, folks, these, these feed stores, they, they need our business. They need our love. Now, you know, is, is, is the best time. It's, there's never been a better time to get out there and support those feed stores. So do what you can do. Help out these folks. Let's keep small town Texas, small town America alive. There you go. Thanks, Adam, again. And thank you all out there for listening. Uh, we'll talk to you on the next one. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Feed Bandit Podcast. If you like what we discuss on the show, be sure to sign up to our email list to get even more killer hunting ideas, tips, tricks, and exclusive deals on innovative hunting gear and services delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up over at FeedBandit.com or simply by texting the word BANDIT to 33777. See you on the next one. And remember, support your local feed store.